Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's pay dirt review time again. And I'm super excited for this review because I finally get to review some potato patch pay dirt. Now this is from First Creek Treasures and Gifts right outside of Liberty, Washington, where the famous Corbley's potato patch claim was. I have seen there are quite a few reviews on this pay dirt, but nobody has ever reviewed this bag because this is their $200 bag. I've only seen that they have reviews on the $50 and $100 bag. And originally I tried to get my secret shopper to buy their $500 box, but they no longer had it available and they only had a $200 bag. So I figured why not go for the big bag just to see what's in it. So let's just flash up the description, go to the overhead and check out some of this potato patch pay dirt. As you saw, no description. That's right, no description because you can only order this from their gift store in Clay Alum, Washington, rates right outside of Liberty, Washington, or over the phone, which is how I had my secret shopper order it. So no real description except for what you ask them when you order it or if you go in the store and you ask them some questions. Now, one thing I did find a little peculiar about this pay dirt is the bags I ordered for this bag as well as a different order for my Tuesday night live show. Neither one of these bags actually say Corbley's on it anymore. And all the old pictures I've seen of their pay dirt they sold always said Corbley's potato patch. And now it just says potato patch. So curious if maybe somebody complained about them using the name Corbley's. I don't know. Didn't think to ask them until I got the pay dirt in and I'm shooting a review. So let's weigh this up. See how much is in here. Three pounds, 6.2 ounces. So a lot of material in this $200 bag. And let's open it up. Check it out. Let's see what this material looks like. Some very dark material. I will rinse this bag out before the end of the video as always. But there we go. Nothing too big in here. It's pretty. A couple little pieces over the plus 10, but not much. I mean, they're all going to be about that size. Now let's check it. See how much magnetite it has in it. It's such dark material, you really can't tell how heavy it is in black sands. But not much in the way of magnetite. So it should be pretty easy to pan out other than the fact that there's a lot of material here. So let's take a break. Go classify this down and see exactly what classifications it comes in. Okay, all done classifying. And as you can see, pretty equal amounts in all the classifications. Maybe a little bit less here in the minus 10 plus 20, but overall pretty close, especially for a three and a half pound bag. Now, I did not see any gold when I was classifying this down, so I'm going to be really curious to see where it is. I did watch one review a very long time ago and they did find a nice little piece in the plus 10. So I'm hoping I find a nice little honker in that plus 10 as well. But the only way to find out is to pan it out. So let's go get some water and do just that.
Well, finish panning everything out as you saw, and that wasn't too difficult, but we'll talk about that in a minute. For right now, let's show you the gold I found. In the plus 10, I did find some gold. Now, I said earlier in the video I was hoping for a big old chunk out of there because the one review I have seen of this, Pater, they got a really nice sized piece of gold. But I am not going to complain about this, and you'll find out in a little bit when I do the actual review part on why I'm not complaining. In the minus 10 plus 20, even more gold. A really, really nice pile right there. So really happy with that. In the minus 20 plus 40, again, even more gold. Smaller pile this time, but still a nice little pile. And lastly, in the minus 40, eh, that's it. Just one little tiny piece, but there was one tiny little piece in there. So it's always good to find some gold in the minus 40, even if it is just one little piece. And now let's start weighing this up with the plus 10. 0 0.340 and again i am not guaranteed any set amount of gold in this bag so i'll be really curious to find out what the total is and what the roi is at the end but for now let's just see how much i got 1.420 i think there might have been a five at the end right when i picked it up but there it is zero point three nine zero and i'm not even going to try to weigh up this one little piece we'll just add it in there because there was no way it was going to budge the scale so so there you go recovered 2.155 grams now for this $200 bag from First Creek Treasures and Gifts, this wasn't too difficult of a bag to go through. The most difficult thing is really that it is a lot of material in over three pounds and that it has a lot of organics. As you saw, there really wasn't much in the way of fine gold. Most of this stuff is on the larger tail of it and there really wasn't much black sands. So for a beginner, I'm going to give this a medium and for an advanced or expert panner, this would be pretty easy to go through. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review. But before we get to that, I need to give a shout out to today's sponsor. And that's two of my newest Patreon members, Doug Odette and Big Texas Prospecting. So thank you both very much for supporting this channel so I can continue doing these reviews. And if anyone else is interested in sponsoring this channel, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting or look in the links below. And now to the review. This again was from First Creek Treasures and Gifts. It was their $200 bag with no guaranteed amount of gold in it. Its cost was $200, shipping was $10 for a grand total of $210. Now they also do charge tax and I think it was about $16, but I do not equate tax in any of my reviews because they vary so greatly from state to state to area to area that you're pretty much stuck paying tax on anything in life. So I don't count that towards the reviews because they can't control those. Now the gold I recovered right here, 2.155 grams. And I did test this out and it did test in between 18 to 22 carats. And the gold spot on the day that this bag was received was $60.17, making this gold worth $100. $29.67, giving me an ROI of 61.75%, or on my scale, a 6.2. And again, I did calculate this based off of 24 karat prices, not the 18 to 22 that it actually is, because you can sell placer gold for 24 karat prices. Now for fun factor, I really struggled giving this a score because the ROI wasn't that great, so it should have been a 6.2, but I was thinking about lowering it because I did not find what I would expect in a potato patch pater, which would be some big chunky pieces of gold. Then I saw the actual gold I was panning out and I wanted to raise it a whole bunch. 
and I am actually going to raise the fun factor to a 6.5 because this gold is wire gold. It might not be chunky gold you would expect from a potato patch, but this is wire gold, which is specimen type gold, and it is really rare, and most people pay a high premium for it. I will add some pictures at the end of this review just so you can see how beautiful this gold is, and I really like it. And in context, I previously did a review on a Liberty Wire gold bag, which by the way, this is from Liberty Washington. In that review, it cost me about $107 for a bag of pay dirt with Liberty Wire Gold in it, and my ROI was only 54%. So in this one, I got a 62% with a lot of wire gold. So I am pretty happy with my total results for this. For pay dirt description, I'm giving them an 8 because you do have to either call in this order or place an order through email, and in both of those cases, you'll be able to ask them a lot of questions. The reason I didn't give them a 10 is because if you do decide to contact them and try to order this through email, it is very delayed, and so they're getting an 8 for pay dirt description. Quantity and packaging, they're getting a 10. It was over the 3 pounds they told me it was in an email. And the packaging was done really well. While it is in a typical coffee bag, it was sealed in two other bags as well to protect it. Customer service and shipping, again, they're getting a 10. The customer service was excellent and the shipping was really fast. And they have to say something about their customer service. It was Secret Shopper originally ordered a much smaller bag that was going to be for this Tuesday show. And that bag, I had some difficulties with getting it in due to shipping. And they really said they took care of it. But even if they didn't, which I won't know until Tuesday, if they did, the customer service was excellent. Once they got back to my secret shopper, they were a great help. And that's really what you want is when you have a problem, the customer service is there. So for customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10 for a total score right here from First Creek Treasures and Gift, $200 bag is an 8.1. Now, I don't know if I would order this bag of pater again. While I think the results and the score are pretty good, I don't mind a 62% ROI on wire gold. Don't know if that is typical because again, they don't have a website describing their material. And I didn't think to ask if this was going to be chunky gold, wire gold, or things like that. I did fire off an email to them and I'm hoping they reply before Tuesday. And I'll let you know in that bag. And we'll also see the results of that bag of painter on Tuesday. But, but I will update the pinned comment below as I learn more details about this painter. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. And if you're not already a subscriber, think about hitting that subscribe button below.